Hello peoples, welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 2.5. Episode 12, I think? I think so, yes. Welcome to episode 12! So, last time, what did I do? I did a thing over here. Let's see if I can refresh my memory. It was not this, it was this! Staircase down to the lower level. I made it slightly more... less unsafe. But, you know, this is the start of it. I'm not sure what I'll have here yet. Anyways, since then and before today, I did other things. Said I was going to expand the platform, and I did. This section here is going to be, I guess, farm area. And if I ever need to, I'll always extend farm area out this way if I need extra animals for whatever reason. What else? I put this uh, square here to fill it in. I don't, not sure what I have planned that for that yet. And this L shape is the next one to get an expansion, extension. Let me see, one, two, three, one, two. Oh, I think this corner here ha needs a square too. So there's that. And I did add one square of thing. Square of thing. Uh, I think it's this. Yeah, this will be where I make my lava by putting cobblestone into, what is this, a crucible? And then stone barrel is where I'll put the lava once it has been made. Okay, so I put cobblestone in here, grab the lava, stick it in the barrel, and since I have water flowing on top of it, it turns immediately to obsidian, and just dump it in here. And I got these signs here to keep the water from flowing outwards and in other places. I also did the building downwards by flowing water under the platform to build you know, to put a torch underneath this crucible to heat it up. And also to have it flush with the floor so it doesn't feel as uh, claustrophobic or whatever. Uh, anything else? Well, I got a decent start on the cobble. What else? I got a few burgers. I think that's it. And I have been collecting dirt for the farm expansion. Farm, not really farm. It's a... Uh, animal fields. Oh yeah, I need some of these because for the expansion I did create a whole lot of torches for the fences and I got those now. Great. So on the menu today is the next step in the book, which might take a while because it's actually creating a Tinker's Construct Smeltery for processing ore. There's a few steps to that and it requires a few different parts. So let me put this here and look up Tinker's Smeltery. Uh, I think I just have to look up Smelt. Alright, so we, it needs a Smeltery controller. This is the interface block. Like, you click on it and you get some kind of menu open and you do stuff with it. You also need, what is this? Controller, a drain. Works as input and output for fluids. Oh yeah, you need a drain, I'm pretty sure. This is where you stick in the uh, lava, the heat source, like it functions as sort of a furnace. That furnace needs coal or wood or something to burn to heat up your metals. Seared brick is the basic main block you'll need. You'll need a lot of these. Seared stone, I think you turn this into seared bricks. And you also need casting basin, casting table, seared faucet. You need faucets for sure. Uh, windows, I think, are optional. Keeps any fluids it has when harvested. Keeps any fluids it has. Heart of the smeltery. Well, I'm not sure what the difference between window and glass is. What else is there? Seared road, fancy seared bricks. So yeah, these are like optional things. Okay, here it is. Seared tank. This holds the lava. But then what was this? Smeltery drain. Uh, I'm not sure. Drain. Um, maybe I'll make one just in case. Ooh, mighty smelting. How do I make this? Book mighty smelt materials and you into mighty smelting. Maybe I'll check out materials and you. See if that can give me a bit of a clue as to what I'm supposed to do. Okay, how do I make a smeltery? Is it in this book? Come on. And that's the end of the book. I might have seen something very quickly back here. Moss, stone. No, it doesn't look like it. No, don't go there. Materials, volume one. 
Uh, hello. Okay, yeah, uh, there's grout and stuff. Seer brick requires grout, which is made with sand, gravel, and clay. And I just heat it up to get a brick. Bricks turn into brick blocks. Turn this into a controller. And here we are. I guess I will need mighty smelting. So let's take that book. This one. And upgrade it. Ta -da. There we go. This is what I want. Okay, a smeltery functions as a large liquid tank capable of melting metals and mixing various things. Drains function as input output for the tank. If you need to get liquids back into the structure, simply pour them into a drain. Oh, okay. I've seen people use the smeltery and not really sure how they would want to temporarily take out or put back in things. It's optional because I've seen people just dump it dump uh, lava straight into the tank with a bucket but yeah I w okay yeah the drain is probably just for like smelted liquid smelted metals and not lava that's where the confusion was ores naturally have more material than processed versions such as ingots smelty will preserve the full value of the ores roughly twice as much as a regular furnace would provide aha here we go this is what I need smeltery controller seer tanks your brick Blah, blah blah words that I should probably read and there's a bit more to it this is probably what I want to read once I actually get it built grout see your brick see your brick drain controller oh yes okay so what do I need actually let me figure out all of these things count up the materials I need and I'll be right back all right so I need roughly well a stack of seared bricks that is the really plain looking raw stuff, these things. So I'm just going to smash up pretty much all of clay and cobblestone I have into sand, gravel, and clay balls. Now, did any fall behind the chests? Don't think so, but if they did, I missed it. Too bad. They're gone forever. Let's smash this up. Got a bunch of gravel. I guess I will turn half of this into. Uh, sand should be a stack. I'm missing two. Where'd you go? There it is. Okay, turn half of this into a thing. I wonder how much this gets me. I think the output is one to one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And hammer this up. Should get me 32 sand. 32. Great. Now let's see what we get. 32. 32 and 32 gets me I am grout <laughs> always good joke um what's next do I have to smelt it seed brick craft with this and this is smelted grout so I need a stack of grout there it is all right let us smelt this and proceed to the next step I'll split it between the furnaces to speed it up all right I have over a stack worth of seared bricks I just made an additional stack of grout, so I'll have a total of two stacks of bricks. Figured I'm going to add to the smeltery anyway, so I may as well. Alright, so I need... Oh, I also need glass for one of these things. Not sure which, so controller is just a square. That's done. Smeltery creator, that's me. Drain, I need this. For, like, dropping the metals into, like, bar form. Okay, that's where they'll fall out of. Need a lot of bricks. I'm saving the bricks for last because I don't know how many I'll need, and I figure I'm just gonna shift click them all out. But what if I if I do that, I'll be out of bricks, and I won't be able to make the rest of these uh, things I need to make. What else? Casting table. One of these. Faucets. Uh, I think I'll make. What happened here? Oh, I see. When I clicked table. These remained in the crafting bench. Okay, so what was faucet? A V. Let me grab two of these. I don't know how many I'll need right away. And basin. Do I have one already? No. It's a U shape. There's that. And I think the rest of the things I need is just this. Hopefully that's enough. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe I failed completely. Just grab some extra. Some of these. 
because I don't think I have quite enough blocks. Now, I did make a space for it, kinda. Like, I showed you this square here, I didn't know what I was going to do with it, and I thought, hey, this is a perfect space for this military. And yeah, I don't have to make it any bigger, because it's just big enough to be acceptable for a size for a smeltery. I mean, the corners will be, like, you know, I'm trying to figure out right about where I want to have the front of it. Probably here. Mm, yeah, it's closest to all the other main stuff. So anyways, what I meant was it's just acceptable enough that I can just weave my way through the edges of it like that. So hopefully i doing this correctly. First thing it said was a bed of 3x3 three three brick. Oh, shoot. Run out already? Oh, I guess I do need a lot more. But that doesn't mean I can't put down the rest of this stuff. Why do I have two books now? Eh, I only need one book. Okay, well, what does it say? Place the controller one layer up and the lava tank anywhere on the same level. I need glass, don't I? Uh, Lava tank. Maybe it's just tank. Tank. Thirsty tank, automagy, ender ID, ender ID. Here it is. Tinker's construct. I need glass and brick around it. I don't have that. Well, be right back. Well, it should be good to go. I placed the drains here on the front, actually, because I figure I won't be using this controller or the tank mainly just to refill it with lava. And, well, these will be my main interface things. So, if I place this here, it should uh, complete into a full structure. I <laughs> don't want this there, of course. And the only thing is, if it doesn't work, I probably need the tank next to the controller. Let's see. Ta-da! Tinker's construct is empty. Hey, it lit up! It, it does work. It's working, right? Okay. So, now, let's read the book. I think it just said I have to fill it with a uh, thing. Ta-da! Fill the tank with lava, the smeltery with metal, and watch it go. Okay. Let's fill it with lava. Just have to right click the tank, yes. Okay, there that goes. It holds four buckets worth of lava. Uh, I wonder if I can make it hold more lava, but I think, anyways, lava does last a long time with this thing. So, oh, and I just need a drain on two of these. I got a casting basin and casting bench for, I guess, just plain ingots, uh, tinkers parts, and straight up blocks. Uh, I should just be able to... I also want to make this thing a lot taller. Let's see, what was I going to say? I should be able to toss in some metals. But I don't have any like actual raw ore. I do have crushed ores from smashing up gravel. Let's see, what can we toss in? Probably everything. So, well, actually, oh yeah, there are things called alloys. When different metals are in the smeltery, if possible, they will combine into a new metal. So let's just try one for now. Uh, what sounds good? I would, mm, actually, one of the achievements in the book is to craft a tinker, no, upgrade a tinker's tool with a metal material, something like that. Let's see what materials I can make out, the thi out of the things, the things out of. Blood wood, dark wood, fused wood. Uh, I don't have any of these. Well, doesn't matter. Let's just smelt something fun. I think nickel sounds fun. Nickel. Say nickel. Nickel. It's a fun word. I think there's molten nickel. Is that right? Nickel. There it is. It's yellow stuff. Very good. Okay. And it should work. Just right click the controller to open up the interface and drop it in there. It should start cooking. Yes. Or maybe it's not compatible. That's okay, I have a plan. A foolish plan, but a plan nonetheless. If I turn this into nickel ore, gravel, nickel ore gravel. Will that work? Yes! Success! Now, probably only gets me two bars worth, or maybe three, I don't know. Smeltery is much more effective at getting bars than a furnace, because it uses all of the materials. And if you like smash, actually, you would think a furnace would be the same way because you don't even smash it or lose pieces of it. Alright, come on, it's about 95% finished. 98, 99, and there it is, two ingots. 
let's get our first, uh, hmm, I need an ingot cast. But anyways, that's it. <laughs> I have it. And it does hurt to stand in it, so I'll have to build it upwards. I want to make an ingot cast. Uh, cast. How do I build an ingot cast? I need to over a brick. I need aluminum brass. Or gold. Aluminum brass or gold over any kind of ingot. How do I get aluminum brass? I have to smelt aluminum brass blocks, copper, and aluminum. Do I have copper? I know I have aluminum. Aluminium. Aluminium. However you prefer to say it. Uh, copper. Copper, copper. There's copper. Four. Copper and aluminium. One, two, three, four. Alright, let's uh, speed this process up a little bit. There's the aluminum. And copper takes a little longer to smelt. Should turn it into aluminum brass. There it is. No? Okay, it's this stuff. Six nuggets, two ingots. And I put a seared brick down here just to pour it down onto. Let's see if it works. It does. And I should harden. And I'll right click to pick it up. I picked up the, the ingots and I picked up the cast. There it is. Now I can make ingots out of whatever is here. So I've seen people do this. What is it? Right click to put it on the bottom. I've got nickel, I got aluminum brass, and copper. Okay, so I had more copper than the even ratios for making aluminum brass, so there was a bit of copper left over. Left click, left click, left click sends it to the bottom. Right click do anything, right click also sends it to the bottom. Alright, let's see if that works. I have three nuggets worth of copper left. Is there a nugget cast? Oops, cast. I uh, is that it? <laughs> it is. There is a nugget cast. Well, if I ever wanted to do that. Okay. Well, super duper. This has been episode twelve of Sky Factory two point five. I've built the Tinker Smeltery at the beginnings of it. I guess I'll figure out how to increase the capacity of the tank. Maybe I don't need to, but I will definitely make this tall, or at least three blocks tall. Okay then, if you like this video, if you like smelteries, feel free to leave a like, it helps me out a ton. And if you want to follow along with this series or anything else on my channel, you can subscribe as well. Okay, till next time. Till I... oh, yeah. Yes. Tink. Until I do a, another step in the book. Be swell, stay well, and farewell.